If you're a teacher and you're looking how to use Canva in the free tool to make infographics, flashcards, worksheets, documents, handouts, the lot, I'm gonna show you how you can use the free tool, how you can search for content, and then how you can adapt it because incredibly Canva provides you with literally millions and millions of assets so you can easily update and change any of the free graphics, handouts, worksheets, flashcards that you want to. It's impressive what's available for free and that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. Really hope you like it and if you do, please like the video, please share the video, please comment on the video and of course, please join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you wanna try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there. And there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works. And I'll also put that in the description. Okay, remember we're using the free tool for this. I have to say I do have a paid account as well because I do think Canva's very good value, but I do wanna to concentrate today on the free tool and just show you what is possible without necessarily deciding to pay. And it really does offer a lot. Now the best way to search is always to use this search bar here. And I'm gonna start by looking at flashcards. And I'll just start by doing a very broad search. So I'm just gonna write flashcards, okay? I'm gonna press enter. Now what will happen is in the search results, sometimes you get a few things that you've produced, they'll come up first. And then afterwards you'll see all the flashcards that are there available. Now if you roll over any of these flashcards, immediately you'll see that some of them have a little logo like this one here, Pro. So you know that you can't use Use those if you're using the free tool but the brilliant thing is you can take any of the free flashcards and simply adapt them for you I'm just going to try and show you what I mean by that let's say for example I take this set here so these flashcards are completely free I'm clicked on them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize this template okay so I'm clicking here and what I want to show you now is just how easy it would be to take a set of flashcards that you like, that are free, adapt them to your needs with your students, and then print them out. Now, the secret button to remember is this one over here, Elements. And I'm just going to give you an example. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to change one of these vegetables because it's not one that my students have practiced. Let's say that I'm going to change this for, let's say, cabbage. So I'm going to write the word cabbage in the Elements. Remember, I clicked on Elements and now I'm searching. And it's gonna bring up lots of pictures and I'm probably gonna to wanna to work with a graphic. Now, I can't use these paid ones, but if I flick along here, there are bound to be some images that are free. I'm gonna delete that image there. So I'm gonna click on it and delete it. I'm gonna bring this image onto the screen instead. Now, I'll probably have to resize it and I can see I will need to do that, but I can do that very easily, okay? And then obviously I just come down up here underneath and change the word to cabbage and suddenly I've completely updated my set of cards. Now let's say I wanna print these cards out. I would come over to the share button. I would click on download because I need to download these cards first. So click on download and I would suggest that you would choose for these cards probably standard PDF. So I would click on that, I would download them, then open them up as a PDF file and print them out. You do have other you know, settings that you can use, for example, JPEGs, etc. And you've even got PDF printing, so maybe that might be a better choice. But you certainly need to download them, go to your downloads, and then simply print the cards out. Now, I'm doing this all the time at the moment because my daughter is learning English, and so we're printing out all sorts of cards. So that was just a very quick starter. Let's move on and look at some more possibilities using the free tool. One thing I did forget to point out that this was actually multiple pages. So they were the flashcards were actually three pages of flashcards. And of course you could have adapted any of them. Now, if you want to go back to the beginning, click here and click on the Canva. And you'll notice at the top here that there are loads and loads of different features. And many of these I've already covered. So for example, if you want to learn about whiteboards, which is the way, again, for free, that students can collaborate together. So you can share a link and then students can log into the link and collaborate and brainstorm their ideas all in one place. Then I'll put a video on the screen now that shows you how to do that, how to use whiteboards. But the one that I want to focus on now, and I'm going to, is I'm going to 
focus on activity sheets. So I'm going to write activity sheets, okay? And but this time, let's actually be more specific. So we're going to write activity sheets for present simple in English, okay? Now, I teach languages, and so that's the reason I'm searching for this. But of course, many of you will be teaching geography or science or history or lots of other topics, and there's plenty of content on those topics as well. So in your searches, when you do a search, what you will get at the top is anything that you've already previously made in your own documents. And then underneath, you'll start to see all the different handouts that are available. And remember, in this particular case, we chose present simple. Now, I can see that, you know, um, for example, this one here, this looks like it's free. There's no uh, asking, there's no logo here. So I could click on that and a couple of other little points. So this is, again, is going to be more than one page and I can customize that and adapt anything. But I could also come down here below and there may be other options that are available to me. The present simple tense here. This one looks free as well. OK, so I'll click on this one, for example. I'm going to click on customize this template. Now, this one hasn't got any images in it. so It's going to be a lot easier. We can kind of move in a bit closer and look at it. But if I just wanted to change any of the sentences, I have that option just to come in, click on it, and I can obviously change, you know, twice a month. If I just want to change anything, I can, I can change it, okay? But what's really nice, of course, is we've got this lovely design. It's all been done for me. And this is like a kind of worksheet that we can give up to our students and then they can do the exercise for homework or do it in class. And again, this is completely free. It will be exactly the same. You need to click on the share button and come down to downloads, download it. It will be in your downloads and then print it out. Notice too that you also get loads of other results here of other ones and if you want to you can even search here from the top once you're into a kind of specific specific section if you want to search for something you can even search from here let's say that i wanted to practice uh, let's do past simple tense uh, worksheet so i'm here and press enter and again it's going to bring up some worksheets now this one's paid so i can't use that but this one's free uh, this one looks like it's free past simple so i could click on that OK, and I'm going to replace the current one because I don't want to uh, use this one now. I'm going to replace current one. And now I suddenly get that on the screen and exactly the same. Look through, see if I'm happy with it. If I am great, if I'm not, I may want to adapt it. OK, now it's actually kept that previous one there. I don't want that. So I'm going to delete that page. I only want this page. So I really like this flexibility. Most of the time I tend to go back and click here and go back to Canva. And one thing I do want to point out is how the search works, because there are a few things about the search that can be a little bit tricky. Really quick break from the video. Please, if you can, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel, because it really helps to push my rankings on YouTube. And if you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. We've got loads of content on here. We've got a great section on AI technologies for language teachers. I specialize in making videos to show teachers, language teachers, how to use technology. If you want to go that bit further, think about joining the newsletter. There are 12,000 subscribers. You'll get updated with all the latest videos and the free webinars that we run. But also at the moment, if you sign up, you'll get the free 14 part video course in using technology in language teaching. And I basically highlight some of the best technologies I've come across. And most of the technologies that I highlight are free. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. Simply to vary it a little bit, I just want to show you something. Let's say, for example, I was going to write history of the founding fathers, okay? Uh, of America. Okay, so I'm going to write history of the founding fathers. I'm going to press enter. We're going to get masses of stuff. And what we're going to get because I've just written a very broad search is we're going to get presentations, we're going to get thumbnails, we're going to get infographics, we're going to get Facebook pictures, we're going to get the whole lot here. Okay, so by doing this, look at this infographics, I've got video here, I've got cards here, I've got Instagram posts here, I've got a whole range of stuff. But if I'm coming back here, if I'm more specific about what I'm looking for, let's say, for example, I'm going to do infographic about idioms. OK, so I'm doing very specific now. OK, and I press enter. This time what I'm going to get, first of all, always at the top of anything that I've 
previously made that may match that search. But then underneath, I'm going to start to get all of the infographics that are connected to idioms. Okay, and I can see there's a, some food ones here. Now, this one, interestingly enough, for example, that's free. I can see that that one is a free infographic. And it looks like this one also is free. So I could obviously just click on, I've got another one here. Oh, no, that one's pro. So, you know, you need to kind of look through and decide if there's something that you want to work with. But of course, remember that anything you find, and let's just go with this first one for a minute. Anything you find, okay, okay, this actually looks quite interesting, this one here, so I'm gonna go with this. Anything you find, you can adapt. So this would be a kind of infographic teaching students, because okay, it's useful because they've got a reference material uh, teaching them about different, um, isn't that, they're just general ones. So one thing is as well, remember is you can always log in a bit closer, and if there's any that you don't like, you can just come in and change that for another idiom and then just write in a different example. Or of course you could, if you, if you really don't want that, you can just completely delete that from the um, screen, and then you probably need to start kind of moving around things a little bit to kind of make uh, use of the space a little bit better okay so you've always got that a level of flexibility when you're working with this technology for some reason I'm um, accidentally deleted that so I have to just be careful I'm just selecting the whole thing and just moving it up a little bit and doing the same thing here below selecting the whole thing and just moving it up a little bit so we can kind of even out the handout so you can see how flexible we can be in terms of the way that we're working Okay, so coming back again, remember again, I can always do searches from here. That's also a possibility because you're kind of in the editor. But I often like to go back to the beginning to Canva and do my searches from here. You can work lots of other ways. Now you'll notice if you look here, one of the things that you can do in Canva is create presentations. Now it's actually very powerful. And if you do want to learn how you can make slides, that is PowerPoint slides that you can then present or you can actually use the presenter that's available in Canva, then I'm putting a video up on the screen now all about PowerPoint or slides in Canva. So just clicking back on Canva again and coming back. So just to make it absolutely clear, there are lots of different ways for searching for content. My way of searching is to write in here something very specific, a worksheet on the past simple. Yeah, worksheet about mammals, worksheet about the history of the founding fathers, poster about infographic, whatever I'm specifically looking for. But the other thing that I can do is just click on, I've got all these things here, but I can also click on more and I come down and there'll be a lot more things that I can do. Infographics here, for example, and then we've got uh, mind maps, etc. One thing that you can do with Canva is actually produce video. And I've already made a video showing you how to make videos in Canva for free. And I'll leave that up on the screen now. Now, one last thing is, of course, you don't have to necessarily work with content that um, has already been pre-prepared. For example, if I click on presentations, I could just click on presentations and create from blank. So I do have that option if I literally just want to build up my own presentations. And then there's going to be loads and loads of help. So I can create from blank, but then I can start to you know look at different layouts and different styles that I might want to use. So I could say, well, I want this combination of colors, for example, or this combination of colors, and then start to generate my own presentation. Of course, I could look for pictures, so I could just click on elements if I wanted to search for, let's say, we're doing some kind of handout about animals, I might just write in animals, let's, in fact, let's just do that, animals, so we do, we do it in a really broad sense. I'm gonna get loads and loads of pictures of different animals that I can then work with photos and graphics, etc. okay? So there's loads and loads of ways that you can work with Canva in the free tool. And one of them, obviously, is that you could literally just generate your own uh, your own graphics if you wanted to do that as well. That would be obviously a possibility. So you just kind of get an idea of how flexible uh, this technology is. Okay, remember when you're using the graphics, make sure that you're always choosing th free graphics if you don't want to pay for the technology. 
Okay, really hope you like that video. And as I said, if you can come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads more free videos. Remember, if you want to sign up to the newsletter, there is the 14 part free mini course. There's no tricks. I highlight some of the best free technologies on the internet for delivering language teaching and language learning. And of course, you can also join me on Patreon if you want live sessions with me, if you wanna meet me online and actually have direct training with me, then the best thing to do is to join me on Patreon. And if you click on this video here, you can get all of the information. And finally, if you want to contact me, scroll down, you can contact me on the website if you want me to do some training with your organization, run a workshop, run a conference, or even if you want me to help you to build content for your online course, which is something I've done a lot of work on. Or maybe it's because you want to build up a YouTube channel or you just want one-on-one -on -one training in using a technology like Camtasia. I am actually a recommended Camtasia trainer and I do a lot of work in Camtasia. Then you can contact me by just clicking on here and send me an email and I'll get back to you. I'm going to leave now some more content on the screen, some more videos that you might find interesting. And thank you very much.